Hi, it's Jordantine One, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make my new Twisted Sister bracelet. So, as the name suggests, there is some twisting involved in making the bracelet, and I think it turns out really neat. You can make this using the full-size rainbow loom. You can make it on the monster tail or on the finger loom. Although if you are going to do it on the finger loom, I would recommend using a hook just because it's going to be much harder if you don't. And it only uses two pins, so if you're doing the finger loom, you just want to use two pins that are straight across from one another. If you're using the monster tail loom, you can pick any two pins that are just straight across from one another. And I'm going to be showing it on the rainbow loom. And for that, you want to have your pins in line with one another. And you would, again, just use two pins that are next to one another. And as far as your band counts go, you're going to need somewhere around 100. So I have approximately 50 black rubber bands. And then I have approximately 50 of the rainbow colors. So you're going to need about 8 of each of the colors. So throughout this bracelet, we are going to be using double bands, which means we're going to be putting on two at once. So I'm going to start with my black. I'm going to take two, and I'm going to go from one of these pins in the center row and go over to the right. So I'm just placing them on, and I do want to twist to make a figure eight, just for the very bottom. And then I'm going to take two of my pink color, or whatever your color is that you're using, and they're just going to go right on top, and there's no need to twist anymore. And then every other layer I'm going to be doing black, so I'm going to do two black now. And you do want to pay attention to your bands and make sure that they're as straight as possible because if they get twisted on the pins, it's just going to give it more of a messy look when it's done. So now that I have three sets of bands on, it's going to be six bands in total, taking the bottom two black from either side and pulling them over the top. So you may recognize the pattern as a fishtail bracelet only with double bands, and that is what it is similar to. But now the next step is going to be similar to the double cross spiral twist that I had created some time ago, where you're taking this upper layer of bands and twisting them around. So we're only working with these two pins here, whereas in the double cross spiral twist there's four, but it's the same concept. So for the black layer, I'm going to twist that in a clockwise direction. So the top is going to spin around and come down, and the bottom is going to spin around and come up. But I first have to take the black off of this bottom pin in order for it to have room for the other one to come down. So first I'm going to pick up these two black from the bottom, and I'm just going to move them down to this pin below as a holding spot. And now that frees up this pin for the top ones to spin down. So I'm going to pick up the top two black here. And you don't want to flip your hook and twist down. You want to make sure that your hook is always facing up. And just spin it around. So with your hook facing upward, you just want to slide those bands onto that pin. And now that frees up the upper pin for these other bands to move back up. And again, leave your hook facing up. Don't just twist it and put them on with your hook facing down. You want to leave it, the bands in that same upward direction and just slide them on with your hook still facing up. So now you can see we've taken that black and we've just twisted it. And so now I'm ready to do my next layer, so I'm going to switch to the orange. Again, it's always going to be two at once. And I can see those are a little bit twisted, so I'm just going to run my hook around there. And then once you put a layer on, you have to take a layer off. So the bottom two pink are going to come off. And I am going to be changing the direction of the twist. 
So since the black ones are going to twist clockwise, the color ones are going to twist counterclockwise. So again, I just have to make room here. So I'm going to take the orange bands and this time I'm going to move them to the pin above. And now I can take this other set of orange and this is going to move in that counterclockwise direction coming down. Again, don't flip them upside down. Keep them facing up but just twisting. And now for this upper one, they're going to come off and now this can slide to the one above. So now you can see the pink is twisted, but we are doing that opposite direction. So now I'm ready for my next set of black. And then the bottom two will come off. I want to do my twist, and since I'm doing the black layer, it's going to be clockwise. So I'll take the bottom two and move them down. And now these top two can spin around. Again, leave your hook facing up. And now these can move above here. And now I'm ready to do my next set of colors. So I have my yellow. And then the bottom two need to come off. And now these are going in that counterclockwise direction. So I have the bottom two yellow are going to move to the pin above. Now the top set can spin around and come below. And now these upper ones are going to just move above. Now I'm on to my set of black again. And you do want to keep pushing these down just because the pin does get very full since we're dealing with six bands on there. So I have my bottom layer to come off. And now since this is the black layer, we're doing clockwise. So I'll move the bottom two down. The top two are going to spin around. And you can see I lost one of them here, but that's no problem. I'll just get it right back on. And now these other ones can move up to this pin and I see it looks a little twisted again so I'm just going to smooth that out and now I'm on to my set of green I'm gonna remove the bottom And it's my color layer, so I'm doing counterclockwise. So I'm moving the bottom greens up, sliding the other ones around. And you may need to use your finger to push that down if it ever seems like it's wanting to come up. And now these upper ones can go where they belong. So hopefully you're seeing the pattern and you're getting the hang of it. I think the hardest part really is remembering which way to twist. I can't tell you how many times I mess that up. I'll be sort of mindlessly working on the bracelet and then I'll realize that I twisted something the wrong way and have to backtrack. So now since it's the black layer we're doing clockwise. And then I'm onto the blue. 
So I think this is the last one I'm going to show you, and I'll let you finish the rest of it out on your own. So I'm just taking the bottom layer off, and since it's my color layer, it's spinning counterclockwise. So I'll move the blue up. And spin it around here. And then add the black. And remove the bottom. So you can see here your bracelet should be growing out the bottom. You can see the pattern that's starting here. So I'm just going to continue on doing that same thing with black every other layer and continuing my rainbow pattern. So you can pause your video here and finish it out. And then when your bracelet gets long enough, I will show you how to remove it from the loom. I now have my bracelet to the length that I'd like it, and I have four rubber bands on each of the pins. So I'm going to take the bottom two and just move them over the top. And then I'm going to take the two from the right side here and move them up to the left. Just to get them all on that same pin. And then I'm going to take the bottom two over the top. And then I'm going to get the last two on my hook and I can pull this off. And then I'm going to take my clip, I have a C clip here, and I'm just going to attach it to those two bands on my hook just so they don't come apart. And then here is my bracelet. I hope that everyone loves their new Twisted Sister bracelet. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!